Okay. Make sure you read the other one as well. Because my question was rega with regards to John 73. Yeah. And you're going to understand what word is in your language. Are you going to go to John 73? I will go to Okay. So all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Carry on. Do you agree that's, with that? That's still not John 73. No, do you agree with that? I'm listening. I'm listening. So in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shining in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. I know you like that verse. Will you move on to John 73 now? Alright. So that's completely different from the other one. Of course it is. That's why you quoted it. Well, just to remind you. Fair enough. You reminded me now. Let's move on. You know, you know the best. Okay. I'm just trying to remind you. That's fine. That's important. Thank you very much for reminding. Okay. Yes. Now read John 73. Remember, the God who was always with the Father and who, through whom everything was made. Now let's see what Jesus himself says about him. This is a testimony about Jesus telling us about the Father. Yeah, which verse do you want to look at? John 17, 3. Right. And this is life, eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. Who is the only true God according to Jesus? And Jesus Christ. Who is the only true God according to him? The only true God. Is who? And Jesus Christ. Yes, and Jesus Christ, you're right. So Jesus was the Messiah. We agree as a Muslim, you know, I have no problem with that. Yeah. But according to whom, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Yeah, and Jesus Christ. Whom you have. You know, you're, the reason you're stuck on only Jesus Christ, because that's the only one that you agree with. Am I right? No, I mean... Do you disagree with the other one? just said only God. Yeah, Allah. actually he did say only God. Right. The only true God. Yeah, but Jesus Christ is mentioned as well. I agree. I, let's not dispute on something. He's not that. He's, he's my not friend, saying, and my friend, Jesus. listen. Let's not dispute about something we both agree upon. You agree he was a Christ. I agree he was a Christ. Yeah. So let's not dispute on that. Let's. What did he say before that? Who is the only true God so according to Jesus? Things. Yeah. Who is the only true God? Answer. Well, the, the only true God is himself. Is? Yes. No, he didn't say himself. Don't lie. According to Jesus, who is the only true God? I'm not lying. I'm just saying it's the Father. But also, Jesus Christ, he is part of the Godhead. So how many gods are there? There's only one true God. Listen, There's according to God. Jesus... One, one wait, wait a minute. According to Jesus, who is that one God? One true God. One the true God. one true God. Who is that according to Jesus? The Father. Only the Father? Not the Son? No. Is it only the Father? Did Jesus say the Son? He didn't say the Son. Why are you lying again? Well, that's why he mentioned. No, he said the Christ. The Christ. Christ is also Messiah. Yeah, exactly. Which we agree upon already. So what's the problem? The problem is who is the only one true God? Because according to you, the God is the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Am I right? But according to Jesus, is only the Father. Now whom should I believe? Jesus or you? You believe what you want. Right. Believe what you want. But would you agree? I'm you at the end of the day, but why do you disagree with Jesus then? No, no, I don't disagree with Jesus. You do? Because according to you... I also met Jesus. You met Jesus? Yes. What did he look like? I don't need to tell you. Why? How do we believe you then, you met him? You don't need to believe him. Okay. I don't believe you actually, but I believe... I, I believe what Jesus would say about the Father, oh that he is the only true God. Well, you see, look, look. I think it is settled. Jesus said he's the Messiah. We have no problem with that. We have no problem with him being the Messiah. But Jesus also said that the only true God is the Father. You've got to see why he's coming back. You don't why? understand the reason why. Why is he coming back? Because he never died. No. Yes. Did he die? Yes. Can God die? You're going back to the same thing. Of course I will. Because that is what you bring that's up. The, that's the only way he can save you. No. Oh, so the only way for God to save me is by him committing suicide so or by him. The only way you can be saved is by him doing more good works. No, who said that? Who told you that? You don't even know the Islamic faith. I read it. No, I don't think you know about the Islamic faith. I, I grew up if you think the Muslims only go to heaven by doing just good faith. I grew up with Muslims. My family are Muslims. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you become a Muslim. I'm not against Muslims. I didn't say you were. I said Muslim. your understanding of how we gain paradise is flawed. Because everyone goes to hell or heaven 
Yes, not purely because of the good deeds or bad deeds. It is because of what Allah's own mercy allows you to do or what his judgment allows you to do. Predestination. You believe that as well? Yes? Yeah, the thing is, but also... By the way, why are you going against Jesus? Did I say that? Yes. You believe in the Trinity. Jesus never preached the Trinity. You said it again. Like, do you, by the way, do you... Using the word Trinity. Do you not believe in the Trinity? He's not using the word Trinity. Okay, what word would you use? You tell me, I'll use that word. Come. on. You believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Which word would you want me to use? In the Bible, the word Trinity. It's not there. Find it. It's not there. See? Is the concept there? Is the concept of Trinity there? Well, you, you brought the word Trinity, right? I'm asking you so a very simple question. You brought the word Trinity. You worship the you Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It. You should be able to prove it in the Bible that exists. By the way, I did not bring up the word Trinity. The you Christians did. did. The Christians did. No, in this conversation. Okay, what word do you use instead? If you worship the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, That's what word do you use? Father, God, the Holy Spirit. Okay. Father, Is the, did, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay. Did God ever say that He manifests as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? What? Did God ever say that He manifests as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? He's manifested in the flesh, yes. That's, that's not answering my question. Did He ever say He manifests as the Father? No, you don't have to. But you see, when you make a claim about your faith that you worship this triune, I know you don't like the word Trinity. No, Look, I'm whether not, you call it the Trinity I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not or whatever, it's still the Trinity. You, I know that they have it in the dictionary, but it's not in the Bible. That's what I'm saying. I've already agreed with that. For, no for some reason, no I don't know, for some reason you have this habit of disputing things we agree upon already. So what's the argument? The argument is, if Jesus claimed that the only God is Father, why would you say that Jesus is also God and the Holy Spirit is also God? That's for you to work out. He came to die for your sins. You see, he's changing the topic again. I didn't ask you why he came. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you about your worship of the entity other than the Father. You have to understand what worship is. Uh, now again, you want to qualify worship? Yeah, but you bring up words over and over again. You bring okay. up Trinity, you bring up worship, you bring up... You understand the wor word worship? Do you understand it? Yes. What does it mean? To give glory, to bow down, to... Did Jesus do that? Yes. Is Jesus God? Yes. Does God bow down to anyone? Well, he gave glory to God. Yeah. Does God give glory to anyone? Well, why, what's wrong with giving glory to, to God? Well, what's wrong with him bowing down? What's wrong with you bowing down? Nothing. I'm a human being. I bow down to God. So, that is my duty. Why can't he do it? Ah, whom does he do it to? I do it to God. I bow down to God. Whom does God bow down to? You see the problem now? No, no, God does not bow down. Oh, Jesus, Jesus did. Oh, Jesus. but is Jesus not your God? He can bow down wherever he, ah. he's, a, he's a man as well, right? So he can also bow down. So when he was bowing down, was he a man or God? Look, if he was only just God, if Jesus was only God, right, in the spirit, but no flesh, he wouldn't need to do any of that. He would just float, just like be all glowing, powerful. He did, do, you know, he did resurrect, but he didn't need to show that form. He also showed his humility by being like a man. And that is exactly my point. Was so, Jesus the perfect man, according showed, to you? He showed an example. You need to bow down. I agree. I agree. But if I said. But what was the example the Jesus name? Hashem? Right, Hashem? What's yours? William. Right? William, okay. So if, if, if Jesus said, okay, follow me, and he bowed down, isn't that a good example? Of, it is a very good example. I, I totally agree. Right? Yes. If Muhammad said, follow me, um, just um, share with some people who do some dawah, right? Yeah. So, right? so both of them were role models to the people. Right. So you're, you're following a role model. Right? I agree. So Jesus did something to show as a role model. But why don't you follow him then? I do. You do? So when Jesus said the only true God is the Father, do you follow him? Or do you follow the church fathers who say I follow, I follow the him. only true God is the Father, I don't, I don't, Son, and the Holy Ghost? I, I didn't ask you to follow Muhammad, I don't follow Muhammad. but do you at least follow Jesus? I don't follow Muhammad. Though. Do you follow Jesus? Yes, I do. Good. So do you agree that the fa Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is not the true God, but only the Father is the true God? Let's see whom we follow now. The Father, sorry, Jesus or the church fathers? 
or the church rather? The, the, the God is a group. It's a a group. group? Yeah, it's a plurality. Not one. So you don't believe in one God? Yeah, one God. How can one be plural? Because it's... Do you know the difference between singular and plural? Because, because it's Elohim. It's a plural name. Oh, really? Elohim always means plural? Well, it, it, it can be... It's one, but the thing is, it's a hat. But the thing is... Is Elohim always plural? It's a plurality of meaning. It's all the time? Not all the time. Okay, so in the case of God, is it plural or singular? How many gods do you believe in, by the way? Exactly. If it's only one God, ask the same question. Yeah, because you don't, you don't, you seem to be confusing your own self. When Jesus, look, when Jesus has clearly said that the only true God is the Father. Yeah, because you, like I said, you know, you have proved to us today that you do not follow Jesus. Asking a very basic question. And you know, I was, I was expecting you to answer the basic question. I just told you, it's one. Exactly. And who is that one? How many times have you asked me? According to Jesus, who is that one God? Do you have a problem remembering? No, I don't. So why do you keep asking? Do you know why? You know why? Because when I asked you, who is that one true God? You, you somehow says, even though Jesus, even, even though Jesus has clearly told you that it is the Father who is the one true God, you don't agree with him, and you said you follow Jesus. I don't think you do. I think you follow the church. Your Quran says, "Don't believe in the Trinity." What, 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 sorry, say again. Even though your Quran yeah. might say, "Don't believe in the Trinity," or "Don't believe that Jesus is God," right? In that kind of way of saying it, right? I can't remember the exact word, but I remember reading some. Symptoms. What is the point you're making? Well, I know I understand the reason why you might come across a Christian and say. <laughs> Oh, the Trinity, the Trinity. By the way, it's not me. I'm quoting Jesus again and again to you. But because of your cognitive dissonance, because you do not you do not even accept what Jesus says. I do. Yes. But you're if you did, if you did, then you wouldn't say you wouldn't say because you that the Father. Sorry, you would say the Father is the only true God. You, you wouldn't say the Son is also God and the Holy Spirit is also God. In the Godhead, he also this is one God. Again, you know, how many times do you have to say it? But you worship that. I don't. Oh, so you don't worship the Godhead? I don't worship the Trinity. Do you worship the Godhead? Now you're getting into God. semantics. I worship God. You're getting into semantics. I worship God. Okay. When you say God, does it mean only the Father? Watch this now. The guy is saying he doesn't worship the Trinity. No, he doesn't worship a triune God. Let's see if he stands by his statement. No, Matthew, Matthew, according to you, wait, wait, you said you worship God. Matthew according six, to God, according, sorry, according to your Matthew belief. God, Matthew chapter 6, yeah. talks about the, the prayer. Now, our Father, right? Even Jesus said it. Jesus said, Our Father, who art in heaven. So he was praying to God. So it doesn't mean that he's not God. He's just giving a model, a role, an example for you to pray. Okay, let's analyze that. You're telling me because he tells to pray to the Father, doesn't mean that he's not God. Am I right? That is your claim. Okay? Let's let's rephrase the question. No, no, no. You Because I don't think you seem to understand what you're saying. You said just because he said to pray to the Father, yes, hallowed be thy name, it doesn't mean that he's not God. So you're telling me he is God. Is that right? He's part of the Godhead. Okay, so he's part of the Godhead. Yes? Did he ever claim to be part of the Godhead? Well, when he, even when he prays. Did Jesus ever claim to be part of the Godhead? Because you made a claim that the onus is on you to prove it from the Bible. Did he, did he claim to be part of the Godhead? Yes. When? There are so many verses. Give me one from the many. Give me one, my friend. Just need to look in the Bible. Give me one. Read the Bible. Give me one. You've read the Bible, right? So give me one, then. You shouldn't have a problem. If there are many. Which one? John 1 1. John 1 1 means it's in the Godhead. Yes? 